Hello, today I have a sleeveless dress and my customer want me to put the sleeve on it. Okay, first I want to pin it. The seam is here. I do double from here. And then I mark the shoulder line here. When we make the sleeve pattern, we should follow the shoulder line. And if you don't like the sleeve stick up like this, you can move this one down a little bit down a little bit and the more you put the sleeve down the deep down here we have at the moment I just do the normal one with the t-shirt they do straight like this to make it comfortable to move but with the blouse we go a little bit down to make it look fitting this area now I draw the picture. It's a straight. I want it go a little bit down to make it nice. Usually I do about 10 cm from here to here. You can do 11 or 12. It's okay. Yeah. And now I want to draw this, this one to show you. Yeah, and it's finished here. Okay, we can't cut like this because the, the pattern should not go like this. So I have to make the armhole smaller than the sleeve. So I put one centimeter more from here. From here to here, we have to make it square and we go in two centimeter and half uh, and then from here to the end here we mark it three times one part two part and three part and then the first two part we take it half and then we go up one and half centimeter and then we make the curve up to here and then the last part we do half and then we go it lower seven mil. So curve like this. And now with the hem, you can measure the bicep and then you make a little bit looser. But when you cut it, you can't cut it straight like this because we need this angle. When we fold it up, this angle will cover this area. The manufacturer, they usually do the front a little bit in than the back one. So in this case, so the sleeve, we have two parts. We have to make the front part and the back part. So now if I want to make the front part, it's very easy from top here, I just trim it about half centimeter along here and then I cut this part off slightly down and down and then slightly out here yeah so now I have the difference between the back and the front yeah, we have to unpack the facing inside or we can leave it like this. If we leave it, it's a little bit thick all around here. I usually explain to my customer about the shoulder. If the shoulder wide enough, I think it will look okay when we put the new sleeve on. But 
if they slitted, they cut it too much in like this. And then the shoulder very short. And in this case, if the shoulder very short, and then we put the slit on, it look not very nice. So in this case, I want to put the slit on because the shoulder is wide enough for me to do the job. Now I want to cut the slit, but I don't have enough fabric, so I want to join it at the middle. So I put this one like this, and then I put the pattern on, and this seam to follow this one. And then I draw it. Um, this line. This must be longer than the armhole a little bit. So when you finish the pattern, you should check to see this line is a little bit longer or the same with the armhole. And then I mark this one at the middle. I have the line here, so I don't need to mark it. And then I cut the second one here. And now I put right side to right side together. Yeah. And now I make this one is the front part. So I mark this one front and this one front. And now I trim a little bit down and down like this to make it different with the back part. Okay, now I want to sew it. This fabric a little bit thick, so I want to unpick the um, interfacing because they have two pieces, one here and then the iron on here. So I want to make it look nice. line if you are first time to do this to make it easy you can mark one quarter double and double and then you mark the one quarter here and here and then the armhole we do the same from here here I mark half and then I double it and then I mark one quarter and one quarter I put right side to right side together and seam to seam And then middle to middle. And now I have quarter to quarter. And this one quarter to quarter. So make sure seam to seam. And uh, 
this is curved pattern so you should not sew it too deep i think about seven mil or five mil is that enough <laughs> just overlock all around here then, uh, before you make the slip pattern you have to make sure the armhole not very small sometimes they make the armhole very small and in this case you have to make this one a little bit lower because with normal dress the armhole from here to here is lower than the sleeveless dress but in this case, I don't make it lower because uh, this one is wide enough for me to put the sleeve in. And when I make the pattern, usually at the end of the corner here, I usually make it square and here as well. And in this case, if we do that, when we open this, it, it's straight here. And when we join this pattern, it's straight here as well so very easy to sew and very easy to put it in uh, the armholes thank you very much for your watching please support me to subscribe like and share my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon to get my new video from my job every day thank you very much bye bye see you again